So I wanted to show in this video that you do not need anything fancy to run a successful eBay business. And I'm gonna show you guys everything that I use. And all this stuff is very inexpensive. And when I first started, I didn't have a lighting kit. I didn't have a thermal printer. I didn't have anything. I was using a crappy Motorola phone for my photos and a light, that uh, lamp for lighting that was in my living room and no background or anything. I was using, actually I was using like the white cardboard like boxes, uh, cutouts, whatever you can get at like Walmart for like a dollar or less. Um, I was using that, but anyways, you don't have to start even with this. You can actually get started right now with what you have in your house. But with what I'm gonna show you guys is a very inexpensive way if you wanna do it more clean and more presentable, I guess you can say. So let me show you guys what I'm working with. All right guys, so here's what I'm working with. I got the light kit here. And this was like 50 bucks free shipping on eBay and it's actually pretty decent light kit. I'm also using this nice gray, light dark gray rug that I got for like 30, 35 bucks. And it's really nice. I went with gray because I didn't want to go black and I didn't want to go like white. I just went neutral and went with gray. I like it, it works for me. And here's all the packages. So I've been listing 20 listings per day, Monday through Friday. As you see, today is Friday. And I wanted to upload a video every day, which this will be my last video for the week. And then also list 20 items per day. Now I've, also, I've actually been listing 21 items a day because I, I'm a big believer of doing a little more than what's expected. Even though it's one item, I mean, that's an extra five items per day or per week, I mean. So that's an extra, you know, 20 listings per month. And of course, I plan on increasing this, you know, as my business grows. But right now, I'm comfortable at doing 20 items a day. And what, how I do this is you can see all the bins are labeled A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So now I am on h bin so everything is tagged from h1 all the way until h um, whenever this bin gets full so these will go inside the bin just like this and if say if h31 sells you just pull h31 i have it labeled in the custom SKU option in ebay and the listing so i know you know obviously which one is which so h31 sells i pull it put a label on it or weigh it label it and then it's good to go. It's already pre-packed. Everything's good. And uh, those four bins right there are all unlisted. Those two bins are unlisted as well. And then we still have this whole pile of clothes here. That's kind of just, I just pick through. I just uh, do 20 items and um, I just pick through that pile. So yeah, guys, nothing fancy. And I'm using a iPhone 12 Pro Max for my photos, if you're wondering. But I recommend if you have an, any kind of iPhone, pretty much seven and up, you should be fine. Um, shout out to Daily Refinement. I believe he still uses the iPhone eight. So as long as you have a camera, that's all that matters and good lighting, that's a must. So yeah, the point of this video, if you're watching this, like if you're new to reselling or maybe you've been reselling for a long time, you don't need anything fancy. You don't need a fancy light kit, fancy background backdrop. Um, fancy inventory system. You guys saw my inventory system. Very simple, very basic. Of course, it's going to have to change as I grow, but for now, you can see I'm using bins that I get at Walmart that are like four or five bucks, and I'm using a very simple inventory system. I pre bag everything, I put a custom SKU in eBay, and that's pretty much it. And um, there are some things that I recommend you get if you can afford it right away starting out, and that is a label printer. Um, the label printer that I use is a Dymo 4XL label printer. Um, you can also get a Rolo or whatever and get one pre-owned. Um, get one pre-owned on uh, eBay so you can save some money. And, you know, if you can afford or maybe you have a laptop ready, that's awesome too. Just so you can print your labels from home so you don't have to send them to like Office Depot or another, uh, you know, person that can print your labels for you so you can stick them on your packages that's a hassle i did that um, i did that for almost a year actually about a year um, but once i started doing more volume and more packages um, i had to invest into a label printer and 
I'm not going to lie, it's a little tough getting to the point where you can afford spending money on supplies. So that's why you got to work with what you got. But anyways, guys, just wanted to make this quick video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please like, comment, share, subscribe if you guys enjoy these types of videos. If you want to see more, we're almost at a thousand subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. And I hope you guys all have a good weekend. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.